This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, hello there, it's Jeff Cardone, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. No, it's not a birthday boy, it's a birthday girl. And this birthday girl is a Canadian icon. I know we think a little biased. I am, in a sense, but anyway. What she accomplished in women's hockey has got to be worth something. She's 43 years old, Haley Wickenheiser. She's a resident physician and an executive with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Can't be them. She, in fact, was the first woman to play full-time professional men's hockey in a position other than goalie. Wickenheiser was a member of the Canadian women's hockey team. First from 19... Her first appearance was 1994 at the age of 16, all the way up to 2017, so 23 years. That's amazing. Most people can't last 15 years in professional hockey, but 23 years, whew. The team's career point leader, I guess, with 160 goals and 211 assists, obviously. She's been part of Canada's Winter Olympic hockey team five times, winning four gold and one silver, and twice named the MVP. She even played softball for the 2000 Canadian team in the Olympics. Or was it 96? I can't remember. She's actually won the most gold medals by, by any Canadian Olympian. Like gold medals with four. Penny Alasiak doesn't have four gold medals. So, great, called one of the greatest female hockey players of all time. Cammy Granato will be angry with that. So anyway, her four goals were in 2002, 2006, 2010, and 2014, and then the 98 silver. We're not going to know. She played on a, women, a boys team until she was 13, and then she decided to join women's team. She was named to Canada's national team at the age of 15. Her first tournament was the 94 World Championships and actually picked up an assist, playing three games. That's amazing how she was on part of a lot of teams that won gold at the World Hockey Championships. Of course, Canada won every World Championship in women's hockey from 1990, the first official one, till 2005 when they lost in the shootout on my 20th birthday, pissing me off, of course. So, yeah. Wickenizer has been part of seven World Championship Championships. 94, 97, 99, 2000, 2004, 2007, and 2012. And even took three second places. Anyway, Wickenheiser was part of Team Canada's first for into women's Olympic hockey. It was a medal sport. Canada ended up taking second to the hated Americans, which ticked me off in a sense. Bobby Clark, who was the Team Canada GM for the men's team, actually impre was impressed by Wickenheiser and decided to invite her to be part of rookie camp in 98-99. That was amazing. Wickenheiser was the top player for the 2002 team that got revenge for their 98 Olympics loss by beating the Americans on their turf 2-1. Or was it 3-1? Sorry, it was 3-1 because of Jana Hefford's famous goal and Haley Wickenheiser making that big statement on TV afterwards, hearing about how the Americans would stomp on the Canadian flag in their dressing room. It says, I hope they still have that flag so that we can autograph it and give it to them. Of course, she also said that she thought that the the official who was doing the game was a little biased towards the Americans. Well, it was an American referee. But Canada still won the game 3-1 anyhow. Canada beat Sweden in the 2006 Olympics. Sweden shocked everyone by taking care of the Americans in a shootout. So, Wickenheiser looked good. Canada won the 2010 Olympics on home turf, beating the Americans 2 to 0. And then Wickenheiser was part of the team that in 2004 actually was down 2 nothing to the Americans in the final five minutes before scoring two goals. True story. I actually had to go to a foot doctor to deal with getting my my right my right big toe, like the nail, cut down because it was oozing black and all that. I missed the game, but. In the reception area, they had it on the radio. It was 2-2, and they tied it. I didn't know what happened in overtime, but then I saw the highlights of that. It was amazing. 
The problem was that Canada and the United States had basically won every gold medal in women's hockey. And ever since the event for the World, Women's Championship started in 1990, it's only been Canada and the U.S. She said that the talent gap was because North America has women's professional leagues and Europe doesn't really have much. And the European teams, women's teams, were not given the same level of support as the European men's national teams. Fair enough. So she would help out in the Western Women's Hockey League. But she decided to challenge herself by playing in a men's league. She would go to Salamat in the Finnish Third Division League. Scoring a pair of goals. Wickenheiser chose to play in Europe because the game was more open and less physical. She almost went to Italy, but the Italian Sports Federation said that women were ineligible to play in the men's league. She could have played for Cincy in the ECHL, but she turned down the offer from El Esposito. Ironically, Esposito was the one who brought the first woman to play in an NHL game, albeit an exhibition, Renal Renal for Tampa. The Finnish Hockey Federation said that she could play. Selamat got to the second tier in Finland, but she didn't think it was for her and she decided to leave the team. So, anyway. Where does it sound, even though she had so much history playing for the Canadian national team? She actually, well, she never played university hockey, so she got five years of eligibility, and she went to Calgary, University of Calgary, to get her degree with medical school. So this is amazing. Where does it sound? And Wickenheiser actually played for her former teammate, Danielle Goyette for the University of Calgary. Wickenheiser got the degree in kinesiology. So it was weird that she was doing so well. She's now Senior Director of Player Development for the Leafs after May 17th of this year being promoted to that. It's amazing. Yeah, she played in the 2000 Summer Olympics for the Canadian softball team. She was basically a shortstop, one of the best shortstops around. Recognizer actually competed for Simon Fraser University in softball, but Simon Fraser at that time was not part of the CIS. It was part of the NAIA. It was weird. So anyway, Canada didn't do so well. They were competitive, but they were not that great compared to the 2021 team that won bronze. Wickenheiser. Wickenheiser lives in Calgary with her adopted son, Noah. She's not married. Wow. I thought she had Noah. Anyway. So, Haley Wickenheiser was actually made to be in NHL 13 alongside Cammy Granato. She could play for any team. All that. Well, as I said, she got a degree in kinesiology in 2013 and completed medical school at the University of Calgary in 2021. Haley is actually the, the cousin of Doug Wickenheiser, who was the number one pick in the 1980 NHL draft. To a lot of people's chagrin, because Montreal picked him instead of Danny Savard. That was pathetic. Of course, Doug Wickenheiser is also known in 1986 for the famous goal that won the, the Monday Night Miracle when the Blues were down big in Game 6 of the Conference Finals against Calgary, but rallied to win in overtime. Unfortunately, the Calgary won Game 7. So, yeah. So, yeah, she's had a great career and is in Canada's Walk of Fame. You know, all hail the great woman in women's hockey and all that. I like watching women's hockey. In fact, one of the world championships was in 1997 in Kitchener. Of course, I didn't live in Kitchener at that time, but it was amazing that Canada won in Kitchener. Wish I had been there for that tournament, but, you know, never happened. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.